Let's check out the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pack. 48 new courses over two years. It's going to come in six waves. The first wave is released today. I believe there's going to be eight courses per wave. And it's $25 for the whole thing. So 48 courses for $25. Bucks. Let's buy it today and see what the first eight tracks are and check them out. Here's some screenshots of the courses that will be included. And if you have Nintendo Online already, the expansion pack with um, Nintendo 64 and Sega Genesis games, this is already included. I don't have that. I just have the regular Nintendo Online. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase this for $25. Let's see. I'm going to redeem some points. I have 18 points. And I'll just use my credit card, I guess. All right. I earned 125 points, and I now own the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pack. I went to the home screen, and you'll see it is already downloading all the new tracks. I'm going to go ahead and insert the Mario Kart game so I can get that ready, and we can test out the new tracks. Now we're ready to open the game. All right, I do... S Whoa. Wow. They added a whole new row of levels here look this is these are the regular levels and then if you scroll down or scroll up oh no wait these are the these are the new levels okay let's go ahead and try the first one i'm not sure if it says which mario kart the levels are from i don't recognize this one but it looks really cool actually it has the paris music i don't know if you can hear that um there's some red yoshis Obviously, it takes place in Paris. I like the streets. I like the textures on the streets. There's some coins. Oh, there's the Eiffel Tower. There's a little park in the lake you fly over. The road goes right underneath the Eiffel Tower. That's pretty cool. Speed boost. Whoops. Sorry. I'm having a little trouble playing here. There's a big giant piranha plant. And uh, then there's some red tape. Looks like we're making our way back towards the finish line soon. Oh, we're going around in a few circles. Oh, there it is. That's the lap, so pretty cool course. Can you go through the middle here, though? I'm just curious. Looks like you can break through those. Yeah, maybe you need a special weapon to break through those. Okay, let's try the next course. Next up, we have Toad Circuit 3DS. It does tell you which Mario Kart it's from. This, is, this course is from the 3DS Mario Kart. What is that, Mario Kart 7, I think? So let's see what this one looks like. It looks like it's one of those circuit races where it's like actually a race track. Uh, I did probably play this level at some point. I just don't remember this one either, really. Is there like an underground part of this level, it looks like? You do some drifting here around these corners. Speed burst. There's a giant toad flying in the sky. That's kind of cool. Some shy guys and toads in the audience over there. Looks like there's an inside track. And that's the lap. Okay, let's try the next race. Okay, Choco Mountain on the N64. This one I do remember because I was a huge Mario Kart fan when uh, it came out on then Nintendo 64, Mario Kart 64. That was one of my favorite games back then. So I'll probably recognize this one once I start playing it. I, I mean, I just recognize the name already, but at least I got the speed boost. I did not get the speed boost. I do recognize the music. Some flying Koopas. Oh yeah, I do remember this one. You go underneath this little tunnel. Looks like I'm in a cave. Ooh, look at those pretty... Uh, Rocks that are lit up. There's some bats. I remember that from the Nintendo 64 version. A little speed boost over this gap here. I remember that. Yep, I was going to say there's falling rocks in this level, so you got to be careful. If they fall on you, they'll smush you, and you got to take a you know a little break while you recover. But yeah, this is a good level. I do like this level. There's some mountains up here you can jump off of. Whee! For a little speed boost. And that's the lap. Okay, Coconut Mall is a really famous one. I think a lot of people like this. This is from Mario Kart Wii. And um, you really actually get to race through a mall. I remember this one. And then there's also like a parking lot at the end that you can kind of go through for a little bit. And there's a lot of, I remember there being shortcuts. And I also remember 
You can take like shortcuts through stores and there's different levels that you can go through. Like you can go down like this, or you can stay in the top level of the mall. This is definitely one of the best Mario Kart levels of all time. You got some nice 8-bit Mario style wallpaper over there. Looks like I'm out in the, like, the outdoor area now. Working my way up towards, oh, I'm back in the mall. Looks like I'm in the food court. And then I think at the end, I do remember you going on the, at the parking garage. Or like the, yeah, the parking lot here. The palm trees, very nice. Oh, there's some cars. I don't remember the cars. Maybe that, I don't know if that's new to this version or that's always been there. But that's a lap. Definitely an awesome level. Probably worth it just alone for this level. So this next level is from Mario Kart Tour. I believe that's the iPhone mobile game, which I'm not that familiar with, so I'm not sure, but it says Tour. I think that's the uh, mobile version. So I don't know this level, but let's check it out and uh, see if it's good. Tokyo Blur, I believe it's called, if I remember correctly. Looks like it takes place in Tokyo. I do recognize that building in the back there, that tower, that is a Tokyo landmark. There's the mountains in the background, very pretty. Makes me want to travel to Tokyo. If it wasn't for that 22-hour flight to get there, I definitely would be interested in visiting the beautiful Tokyo. But hey, since I can't actually go there, I'll just race through there in uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So far, I'm liking this level. we got some bridges and stuff you go under. Some roads. Here's a little park it looks like I'm going through. Is this going to be a highway I'm getting onto? Yeah, I see like a bridge and a highway. That's what I look. Okay, so you go over the bridge. Oh, it's a short level, huh? Is it the whole level? Yeah. It's a short level, but... And there's only, oh, there's only three laps for this one. I thought maybe there'd be five. But it's still a pretty cool level. Next up is Shroom Ridge from Mario Kart DS. I do not remember this one. I did ha I do have Mario Kart DS for the Nintendo DS, but I'm not very familiar with all the levels in that game. So we'll see if I recognize this or not. So far, it's not looking very familiar. I guess it takes place like on a ridge of a mountain. I see some water there. Beautiful mountains, really pretty level. I guess there's a lot of hills because you go up and down the mountains. There's some other, okay, there's, there's cars in this one. This kind of reminds me of that Nintendo 64 Mario Kart level where you're, I think it's called Toad's Turnpike. We actually race on a, um, on like a highway like this. Now I'm having trouble controlling, so don't mind me. I just want to explore the level. I'm not really playing my best right now. Um, I'm having trouble hitting the L button, so I can, it's hard for me to use my speed burst and everything like that, but. Um, we go through a tunnel. That's cool. Oh, and the light. I love how the lights come on when you go through the tunnel. It is a short tunnel. Bullet Bill Speed Trial. Very pretty level. Oh, look at these turns you're going to go around. I love the bus. That's a nice look. Can you jump over those surfboards? Oh, you can. That's pretty sweet. And that's the whole level. I was also a big fan of the GBA version of Mario Kart. I spent countless hours on that, so I do remember Sky Garden. We're going to try this. The GBA version of Mario Kart is one of my favorites. Uh, I love how the Game Boy Advance had all those awesome Super Nintendo style graphics. Great games on there. And I, like, like I said, I do remember this. I think it takes place in the clouds. There's some vines in the background. This is a really good level as well. Is that a shortcut? Oh, I, I kind of messed, screwed, screwed that up, but let's just keep going. There's a burst. Going some mushrooms and see some air fortresses in the background from Mario 3, looks like. Don't get caught up in the grass, it'll slow you down. Drift around this corner here. And I, yeah, I guess it takes place in the sky, that's pretty cool. And it looks like I'm coming up on the full first lap. You get to use your glider towards the end of the level. And that's a whole lap. The last level we're going to try is Ninja Hideaway. This is the eighth and final level of this pack. Now, is this level from Super Mario Odyssey? Because I thought I remember playing a level like this in Super Mario Odyssey, and I don't see um, which one this is from. So maybe this is like based off of Odyssey, but I'm not sure. If you know, let me know in the comments, please. Or I could always look it up later, too. Actually, I'll probably know when I start playing it. Yeah, this does look like that Mario level, in, or that level in Mario Odyssey. Yeah, because I remember you going the um, the roofs of the of the buildings in that level. Looks like I'm inside of like a 
ninja, I don't know what you call a ninja place, but some kind of ninja building. Because I see it's like a dojo maybe. I don't know. There's some blue Yoshis. What's going on up here? Ooh, some shy guys. Look out. Some pipes or like, what is that? Oh, oh it's a, um, it's an air thing that shoots you up into the sky, I think. I guess you could go up to the top level. Let's go right down the middle here. Let's use a speed boost. Ah, okay. And we're going to go up here. What's that thing up there? Like a pinwheel or something. Let's say we're back on a roof. This will shoot me back up. I'm at the top level now. Can I go up even higher? Oop, I don't know what happened. I kind of screwed up. Let's go back and reverse. And try to finish the level strong because I kind of screwed up. But that's the whole course. I believe it's Ninja Hideaway. So just some final thoughts. I do love the eight new courses. I think they chose some really good courses for the first pack. And I'm looking forward to seeing what else they have coming up with the five other packs coming out. And I think that um, I like the way that they did it, where they staggered them out slowly every few months instead of just releasing them all at once. Gives us something to look forward to. And um, I'm really happy with this purchase. So let me know what you think in the comments. And thanks for watching.